you know, Iglesias is a really good shortstop, but I have heard from some sources that shortstop isn't that much of an important position compared to third base. Zach, to this, care to comment? Do you want me to read this tweet or do you want to read the tweet? Uh, it doesn't matter. I can read it. Can you please read the tweet? I don't have it up. Do you want me to say who it's from? Yes, he tweeted. He tweeted it. He tweeted it. He did tweet it. And he's got, he's got a nice check mark next to his name, too. It's from Ryan Spader. He said the difference between third base and shortstop is fewer than 0.15 plays per inning. Some people need to understand this and realize shortstop is not that special. Can we say what Donaldson – I'll say what Donaldson said in response. Donaldson said, I appreciate stats and numbers. but this numbers. Is Josh, Josh Donaldson, by the Josh way. Josh Donaldson, everybody. yeah. A third baseman. I appreciate yeah. stats and numbers, but numbers do not tell the entire story. Communication is required between a shortstop is more. Responsibilities for cuts and relays, holding runners while covering ground. I could continue. Uh, do you want to take the first stab at this, Zach, or do you want me to? Go ahead. I, f- first of all, this is like uh, this is an absolutely ludicrous statement. Like, Ian sent this to us and said we need to talk about this on the podcast. I got so he was fired that upset. <laughs> I, you know, the analytics of baseball – is come to such a point that I, I just am so frustrated. How are we saying that shortstop and third base are even comparable positions because of the number of ground balls hit per inning? Who cares? Shortstop is so hard. Getting Not only is it being in the middle of the diamond, it is the amount of time that you have to get a guy. Everything happens so fast. You have to be perfect. You are on point all of the time. You're always moving around third base. The amount of ground you're covering at third, it's not even close. That's a big, like, you know, everyone's always like, oh, man, that throw from third to to first is so far. I'm like, okay, let's bring you out to shortstop and let's travel you over into the hole a little bit, not even all the way shifted in there. And then you tell me how far that throw is when you're looking at the third baseman who's about 15 feet ahead of you. Yeah, and you're charging the ball, throwing on the run, trying to get some guy out who's busting his ass down the line. I mean, shortstop is, besides catcher, catching is, is not easy. Besides catching, shortstop's the hardest position on the field, and it's not close. If it's an honor to play shortstop in the big leagues, I've never done it, unfortunately, but <laughs> they didn't let me do it because it's, it's an too honor hard. from what I've heard. <laughs> yeah, I've played every other position on the field except shortstop and catcher because it's hard. They let you play third. That's all. That's all I need to know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's. I Zach, mean, I don't. Zach's I don't, played both. It. It's just Zach. Can you, from someone who's played both for a while, a shortstop is way harder. Don't get me wrong. Third base is a very difficult position, especially when you get somebody up there like Aaron Judge or whoever. Zach hates third base. Ian Happ from the right side. Somebody scary up there. Good point. <laughs> no, but like seriously, like. You, that's a really good point. Like, no, like 99% of the balls that you get when they're hit at you at third, you have all the time in the world. A, the, the hitter, the batter runner is, he knows he's out because you're the, you're, the ball's in the third baseman's glove by the time you're out of the batter's box. The third baseman can take 12 shuffles and get the ball out of his hand and you're out by 30 feet still. And like what he said, just being in the middle of the diamond with the cuts and relays, like, especially now with shifts and your footwork, you're turning double plays. The throws are impossible. The guys are so fast. You And you have to be on cue with everybody else, even in the field or, like, in the outfield, and excluding the infield. Those pop-ups, you know, you're competing – not competing. Like, you're communicating with the center fielder and left fielder, not just – you know, like, it's just – there's just so much shit that goes into playing shortstop. And it's like I don't, I don't want to sit here and, you know, boast about shortstop position, but, I mean, it's – it really right, is. You're a second baseman anyway. Yeah, right. I mean, it's it's fucking hard. Here's another here's another point. There's a lot of good third basemen in the league. There's a lot of good third basemen. Matt Chapman, Arenado, Donaldson. Give me another really good defender. Machado. Machado. Like, you're not putting you're not if it if shortstop wasn't a special position, just throw those guys out at short and see how they do. Not to say that they wouldn't get the job done at short because they would. Right. right. They would be serviceable to above average shortstops, most likely. And most of the time when, when you're shifting guys, the shortstop stays at shortstop for this reason. And I think the wording is what got me the most. Some people need to understand this and realize that shortstop is not 
that special. Shortstop is special. It's the most special yes. besides catcher position on the field. It's like, I, I it's agree. like, su that's such a crazy opinion to me. It blows my mind. It's like, oh, shortstop's not that hard. Let's just, the numbers say he doesn't get that many more ground balls in the first baseman. Let's put Rizzo at short and see how it goes. <laughs> it's just bananas. It's just absolutely I, bananas to me. I totally agree. Dakota is just, Dakota's salivating over there trying to talk about pitching being up there. No, no. I'm just saying there's a reason, like, you'll see guys that are, like, defensive specialist shortstops that hit 220 but stay in the lineup because they play great, great defense at shortstop. Like, you're not keeping someone in at third base that's hitting 210 with no power because third base – like, there's a reason Chris Bryant plays third and Javi Baez plays shortstop. Like, it doesn't have to do with the amount of balls per inning – hit to shortstop versus third base. So that's a ridiculous like stat that has nothing that is, to do with it really. That's like saying that like I mean you could compare any position to any other position. It's like, well there's more fly balls to left. So put your best outfielder in left. Like why is like Ian realistically you should be playing left field then if one team hits more fly balls to left field instead of center field. It, it, it's completely outrageous. Like that that stat that he used that stat that he used to try to prove it is just a terrible use of a step. Like that doesn't make any sense. Like I why think, does that make it harder? I think the other thing that frustrated me is the, like the reliance on analytics and the lack of like feel for the game and trying to boil down the most athletic position onto the field to the number of ground balls hit. It's like, Oh, I did a, I did a, I ran the numbers and there's less ground balls hit. Who, what are we talking about? What possessed <laughs> this guy to get into this? Yeah, what made him think like I shortstop's mean, not that special? It's like he's wait. got he's got I don't know. I would love to have him on and hear his rationale. He his uh he's got a check mark, he's some MLB analytics, so I don't even know. It's just the you know, maybe I will. The research team's on it and it says he is a MLB analyst, author, host, statistician, writer. I would like to hear some of his other stats. Hey, I will say though he's a Penn State alum, Big Ten guy. I don't know, maybe he knows what he's talking about. I hear the Big Ten knows what they're doing. 